Hi, in this video we're going to discuss Nearpod and how it integrates into Canvas. If you don't know what Nearpod is, Nearpod is a lesson delivery tool. With Nearpod you can upload a PowerPoint or a Google slide and transform them into an interactive presentation. You can also build your, present, your content and your lessons directly inside of Nearpod. So to see how it integrates with Canvas, let's look at the next slide. So with, Near, with Canvas you can see that I have my courses here. I have this course here that I've made. In this module, I have a lesson called Simple Sentences. So I might want to take my Nearpod lesson that I've made and put it right here where it says Review Today's Lesson. To do that, I'm just going to hit Plus button. I'm going to hit External URL. And then I'm going to go up to Nearpod. And I'm going to click on my lesson. I'm going to choose Student Pace because I want them to go back and forth. Live lesson means I control their screen. I'm going to grab this link and copy it. Over here, I'm going to paste it. I'm going to give it a name, Nearpod. I'm going to add item. And then I'm going to take that link and I'm going to move it up until above, just below that text header. And I'm going to publish it. And now I've taken my Nearpod lesson and put it inside my module. That is the easiest way to integrate Nearpod into Canvas. But you can also take Nearpod and embed it into anything that has the rich content editor. So, for example, in an announcement, let's say in an announcement I wanted to send an announcement that today we're going to be doing this lesson and I want you to review the Nearpod before you come to class on Zoom. I could embed that directly in. I could also find a page and I wanted to give the students the notes ahead of time so that notes is the Nearpod. So I go down to my page. And then I go to my Nearpod, and you see here where it says Embed, I click Embed. I'm going to take Large because it will make it smaller for no, regardless of the screen, and hit Copy. Now I'm going to go back over, and I'm in the Rich Content Editor, but I want the Nearpod to be embedded or show up inside of Canvas. So I'll hit Edit. I'll click the HTML, a little less than, greater than here. And I'm going to give myself a little room, and I'm going to paste it. And then I'll turn back off the HTML. And now Nearpod is embedded inside of that page. So now when my students come to that page to read about simple sentences, they can get the vocabulary information and then they can scroll down and begin a lesson. You can also put it inside of any discussion. So imagine you had a discussion with your students and part of the discussion was review the activity and then respond in the comments with some your takeaway or answering a question or an example. So anywhere you can put anything inside of the rich content editor that is assignments, that is pages, that is discussions, and that is announcements. So that is all with the free version of Nearpod or with the paid teacher account. But let's say your school has purchased a school license to Nearpod and you now want to use Nearpod as part of the speed grader. For that we're going to go down to an assignment. And if you weren't part of uh, your school did not buy it, you can still do this. You would just embed it inside of uh, the Rich Content Editor. But for this, we're going to change the submission type from Online to External Tool. Now, before I do this, I needed to make the integration with Nearpod. So that just as simple as Googling Nearpod LMS. That'll take you to this page. You generate a consumer key and a secret key. And you learned about this in the previous video. And then you paste it inside of your settings and your apps and you go to settings. You go to apps, you type in Nearpod. Whoops. You type in Nearpod, you click add app, and then you paste that consumer key and that secret key right here. But let's assume I've already done that. I'm going to go back to that assignment. I'm going to click edit. And now I'm not going to have online. I'm going to choose external tool as my submission type. I'll hit find. I'll go down to Nearpod. I'll find the Nearpod that I want students to do. So I want them to do this one. And again, I want it to be student paced so they can go back and forth. Then I'm going to hit select. And then I'm going to hit save. 
that's going to be how they submit the assignment. You can do this with any time you have the, L, the LTI integration. You can do that as an external tool, whether it be inside of the module. And instead of external URL, you select an external tool or inside of the assignment. So let's see what it looks like from a student perspective if they were to do it. So here I am. I'm on my daughter's app, but I click on the course. Now I'm going to click on modules. And I'm going to see there's an assignment down here, Simple Sentence Day 1. And you'll see right there it says Launch External Tool. So I want to launch the external tool, and Nearpod's going to launch. Because I did the LTI integration, it's automatically going to see her name and sign her in. So she's going to join the session. She can review the notes, and she can get right to an activity. And so in this activity, find the subject and the verb. And then she can hit submit. Now she can continue to do this activity, but for the purpose of the video, we're going to say she's done. And then look at what you can see now on your side from the speed grader. So I'm going to go over to grades. I'm going to scroll over to the assignment. There it is right there. I'm going to hit the speed grader. And from here, I can see the report of how active she was. And I can scroll down and see exactly what she submitted, the picture right there. I can download it. I can print it. And that's really the powerful tool of what having the school-based version does, is it allows you to now assess or give uh, grades based off of the LTI integration with Nearpod. So thanks for watching.